Hello, good day to all of you happy manifestors here. So there's a question here today. Open up and get our question going. Good, 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 good. How's everybody doing today? All right, so what we're doing here, I'm putting forth and showing you guys how the mind works, how reality works. How to manifest things manifestation bringing something from the non-physical into the physical world so here's today's question hi mark how are you doing is it okay for me to try to control things and from time to time force things to happen i've noticed in my own life that sometimes when i force things to happen it can turn out to benefit but i've also noticed that when i force things to happen it doesn't turn out in the long run can you please shed some more light on this topic all right. All right. So look, here's the thing. I'm going to give you the big tip, the big secret. Control only what you can control. Don't ever force anything or anyone. All right. Let me show you how this universe thing works because here's why we continue to put forth a lot of effort in forcing and and doing all this this stuff that we're just really miscreating our world all right first of all the reason why you should never force anything okay is because of this everything has already been played out Okay, I'll, the simplest way I want to put it to you, I'm going to take my glasses off because I want, I want you to, um, to really understand this. All right. Okay, the easiest way for me to make sense sense of this to you, and it's, it's going to be counterintuitive to your minds, all right? To your, to your mind, your logical mind. All right. So let's let's just think about, well, okay, the universe doesn't have a beginning or an end, but just let's make sense for us so we, our minds get it. Okay, when the, when the universe began for you and I, at that point, everything that happened when it began everything was already mapped out there isn't anything changing the script was already been written your destiny your desires already been written by you as a conscious awareness of the universe so whenever you're forcing something you're going against your own game plan and when you force things you're going to put yourself into a reality where it doesn't work out in your benefit see when we force when we force something we go against our higher intuition our higher self's mind when we try to force something we go we go in accordance with our lower self our conscious ego mind and the reason why you force things is because your mind sees that there is no end there is something that needs to be done it's a desperate situation i have to have it i need to do it you don't do that so Whenever we force, we're going to miscreate our reality. Instead, what you do is you accept and you flow with it. Now about the controlling part of this stuff. Okay, you can only control what you can control. So what are the things that you can control? Think about it. Well, let's see. There's probably, hmm, probably only two things I can control. What are they? What I think and how I feel. That's part. I mean, that's it. I can't control people. I, you can't control situations sometimes. I mean, everything is just happening and flowing. So what you have to do is, when it comes to the control part, become aware and notice what's happening in your surroundings. Ask yourself this question. Can I influence that physically? You know, some action. Okay? No, I can't. So I can't. Okay, I can't influence physically. How about mentally? How, can I influence the way I see the thing? The way I perceive the thing? Once you do that, then the thing that you're perceiving or the thing that you couldn't change will actually start to move in a favorable position for you. And the reason it happens is because we are our own personal lenses. We, we create our own personal view of reality. Our perceptions can affect something to change it in our behalf. So this is why when it's something you can't control, you either accept it, look at it a different way, tune it into a way where it can become at peace with you. Then you move in the, into the state of the of flow state or the state of your higher self. Now, 
when you force something now what happens is now you cut your higher self out of the picture always remember this lesson if you do not know if you don't know what to do do not do anything I repeat that your mind will tell you we always have to do something no you do not your okay let me tell you something about your mind your mind knows it's here for a limited amount of time so your mind is is trying and getting as much as it can as fast as it can and it's going to take you along as the victim see the difference there's two things happening here simultaneously you have one mind that knows it will die that's the conscious ego mind it knows somehow I mean none of the all of us know that none of us are getting out of this alive your mind knows that um, but what the mind does, it tries to hurry up and get as much as it can. That's one mind. You have another mind that knows it's eternal. It knows that this is always here, it's forever and ever. It's in, if it's infinite, there's no need to rush or force. So we have these two minds competing against each other. Okay, And the mind that usually shuts out the higher mind is the conscious mind because that's the mind that we perceive more with our senses. That's the mind that we're more in tune with because that's what we can see around us and interact with on our daily behalf plus to make matters worse our culture does it to us our culture put into us fast pace get it now limited time da 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 phobia what is it fear of missing out right FOMO fear of missing out all of those things get bombarded into your mind and then you miss the big picture man you miss what is what's what's there higher for you you see so when you do that now your higher self is communicating and telling you Hey, you really don't have to force anything. I'm going to work things out in your favor. All you have to do is just let things flow and then I will send you the right information at the right time to take the next step. But your mind wouldn't do that. So what a lot of people do, they try to go out and do it for themselves. They try to force it and do it. Now here's the interesting things. Yeah, sometimes when you force something, it may happen for you, right? But, get, but here's the thing. At what cost though? See, you don't look at... The, Every, everything's gonna have a cause, cause and effect. So you don't look at the effect from when you force something. You know that, right? When you force something, stress levels go up. Your health's gonna deteriorate. You're damaging the cells. You're creating more cortisol. You create more anxiety. Is that worth the cost of getting what you get? Then when you get what you get, here's the next big, here's the next big surprise people don't know. Whenever you force something. You will always lose it in the long run. It's not going to stay with you. Because it was never meant for you. It was never yours in the beginning. Whatever is yours will always find you easily, effortlessly. Whatever is yours will be an easy flow of normality. Whatever you force will always give you a little push and resistance you can go get it of course but in the long run you'll lose it that's just how the universal law works man so if you force yourself and you go out there and you do to make try to make money and all that I guarantee you in the long run you're gonna lose all that money you force yourself you try to get this relationship force this person to like you force pamper them with all these gifts and stuff yeah they're gonna like you in the, in the, in the short run in the long run you're gonna lose them because they were never yours What's yours is always going to be yours, man. Whatever you want. If you want the money and all that stuff, it'll be yours. But you have to know the flow state to achieve that. See how that works? So whatever you're manifesting, whatever you want to create in your life, always remember this. Observe. Listen for direction. Take inspired action. That's all you do. Observe. Listen. Take the inspired action. So I'll give you an example. Here's how to stop forcing stuff in your life. Make Whenever you make an attempt to do something and you meet with resistance, that's a sign for you to stop forcing it. Whenever you initiate something and you don't meet any resistance, that's a sign for you to continue with it. That's your higher self talking to you. Whenever we meet a lot of obstacles and resistance and pushback, it's usually a sign from our higher self saying that, listen, I have a better way for you to go achieve this goal. But see, our minds don't. Our minds can conceptualize that. Our minds can only see in the moment or in our perception. Remember, your higher self sees the entire field before your conscious mind even has awareness of it. So while your ego is telling you, "Now nah, we got to do it now. This is the way to get it," 
and your higher self saying just relax it's gonna come to you and you can't see that and then you take the wrong path and you may get what you want but it's only a short-term goal a short-term satisfaction in the long in the long run it's always gonna leave you you got guys this this game of the matrix our life it's about it's about big picture now it's not about it's not about snapshots it's about the big picture it's about the long term and the long haul you know so what's that what's that saying they got well you know today you win the bot the battle but tomorrow I win the war it's about the big pictures winning the whole thing and winning the whole thing you have to be able to be in tune with your true authentic self and detune from your lower self you know your lower self is really good at helping you with conceptual regular stuff that's the conscious ego mind but what you got to understand about that mind guys it knows it's here for a short time so it's going to force a lot of stuff on you which is going to cause a lot of stress and miscreation you who you truly are your time indefinite your consciousness is the existence of the multiverse you, that's who you are so you ain't got nowhere to, you're not going anywhere you're going to be you're here forever and ever and you're going to come back as different parts different experiences your regular mind is never aware of that stuff so while you're here in this reality, in this matrix, in this journey, always remember that I don't have to force anything because our, everything is already planned out and played out for me. Hi, how are you guys doing? Because I'm the one that orchestrates, orchestrates it, it. Orchestrated it. You see all that stuff? You see now? Are you seeing how it works now? Yes. The thing is, guys. Here's the thing. I'm my, here's my motto. You know what? I st I don't try anymore. All I do is, you know, you got all you do is you repeat the process until you get your desired results. Repeat the what do you mean? Repeat the process without the resistance. Don't mean force the process. Just means repeat the process. You know, the, don't get it wrong. Now, forcing and attempting is two different things. You got to go take an action. Of course, I'm not talking about taking the action. I'm talking about when you take an action. But you keep meeting a lot of blocks and you keep taking action. You keep trying and trying and trying. Now, you don't have to do it that way. I'm telling you, there's so much, it's just so much easier and effortless and you get more results and you get the long-term haul of it. You see, the, okay, let me tell you the reason why, you know, individuals don't know this stuff. Because in society, we've been conditioned to push and try hard, right? And then when we push and try hard, most of the time, some of the time, you get what you want. So society says, look, it works you get what you want but what they don't tell you is this what they don't teach you and show you is that whatever you get when you force and push it it is only going to be temporary it's gonna you're not only not gonna keep it you're gonna lose it but you're also gonna lose and affect your physical structure your body your health because if you if you think about it when you go force and try stuff your body elevation rise your cells your, your stress levels man see they don't tell you that stuff so most people out there get up, I gotta go do this, da, 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 and, uh, and their, their, their bodies are beaten down and worn down. When all, all you have to do is be in the moment, observe it, listen for the direction, talk to your higher self, ask the question, visualize the goal, chill, let it download, take your steps, boom, 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 and you get there. It's called, it's called efficient or harder. Can you work efficient? Or do I have to work harder? Can I work smarter or harder? See, there's there's always two roads to take to this game. You know what I'm saying? Always two roads to take. And the best road to take is the efficient and the smarter one. When you're efficient and you're smarter, you're operating on a higher consciousness. Now you're operating where your intuition is. And actually, let me show you something deep about this. When you're operating on efficiency and smartness, when it comes to manifest, we're not forcing anything, reality opens up more for you. Did you know that? Okay, did you know something about reality, right? You know, reality, you, we only can see about 0.0002% of reality, right? All of this is, what we're seeing right now is not the whole picture. You know that. So there's other filters, the filters that are blocking us. When you elevate to that next level, the filters that block you, they open up more. So that means there are more opportunities will start to flood in. That, they were already there, but we weren't able to conceptualize them or see them. But they exist because remember, everything exists all at once. It's just our brains just have to see things in frame and frame. But when you elevate to our consciousness, the reason why reality opens up more is because the filter of your conscious mind decreases now. It's not there to bother you. It's not there to, to, to keep your focus and distraction. So when your mind is not distracting you, a lot of things open up for you. And the more things open up for you, you have more opportunity, you have a better path, you can take this and do that. 
and it's just a wonderful thing so the question again I know a lot of you just joined here is is it okay for me to try to control things and try to force things from time to time and now you're learning the control factor is a very simple game only control what you can control you know what you can control now the question is okay mark what if i can't control it and it becomes bothersome to me and it's like it's affecting me man how do i fix that you know how do i find peace with that the answer is very is this whatever you cannot control change the way you see the circumstances give it a new meaning in your mind and your perception your brain will adapt to that okay someone says well neural pathways what do you do to create neural pathways here's the answer practice change in the perception of what you see to benefit you daily when you visualize something in your goal and you focus on what you want repetitive with your imagination you change your neural pathways that's an exercise you can do every day so if you're in a situation look at the situation okay how can I make the situation peaceful I'm gonna look at this situation as this I'm gonna build peace I okay I accept it I can't fight you I can't defeat you I'm just gonna make peace and I'm gonna let it go your brain will adapt to that situation your brain will find a way to do it for you it will become less bothersome you will get used to it you it'll because it'll, you, that's what the brain does the brain is constantly looking to rewire a map because we go every day we're in so much different situations our brain learns to adapt from certain things in our life and you don't even know it man I'll give you a clear example an easy one I talk about it all the time, how your brain adapts situation I talked this I said okay let's say so you used to live in the suburbs and where you live was very quiet easy to quiet and then you your job move you into the city and in the city is a lot of noise in the suburbs or where you live you used to be able to sleep peacefully you had the crickets and nice sounds nature you went to bed easy. now you're in the city and you and not only you're in the city but you live next to this train track the subway station and all these people and now you're in the city you have your new job and you're like oh my god I can't sleep what am I gonna do this noise is keeping me up okay, let me check this out the beauty of your brain here's what happens for the cut for the yes for the next few nights you feel different but eventually you know what your brain is gonna do your brain is gonna synaptically prune it's gonna rewire itself it's called neuroplasticity it's gonna start to get used to this vo the noises in the city what it's gonna do it's gonna push them in the background and then one night you're gonna get one day you're gonna be up you're gonna be like you're just gonna sleep and let me prove it to you then your friend who's gonna visit you from the suburbs that live in the suburbs the friend here she's gonna come visit you in the city they're gonna come into your apartment and just a few months before you were complaining about the noise they're gonna come in the apartment and they're gonna stay with you and they're gonna sleep and they're gonna jump up and they're gonna say oh my god how can you take that noise you're gonna say what noise the subway to say oh I don't know I'm used to it that's your brains adapting to the situation your brain can filter in information can filter our information can put it in the background can bring it up forth that's the beauty of all this stuff work see how it works so that's how you can rewire your brain change your perception see it as something different see it as something positive for you and then boom it will happen for you all right see you guys again next time